with his last name, Kaler. This is a State versus Keza Kaler, RCR 2023 123 Council, please state your name for the record. Kenneth James of State. Manuel Marie on behalf of uh, Ms. Kaler, who's present and out of custody. All right, what's the status? Uh, Your Honor, I'm asking for a brief two-week continuance. Um, she does have insurance. She just needs some time to get the proof of it. She wants to provide that to the court to uh, resolve count three. All right. October 2nd. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, I'm sorry. Could we address uh, pretrial violations? Yep. So the, the September one was that she had a warrant she was booked on in the union court and was let out that day. Uh, is that case resolved? I have court um, October 10th. All right, what's that case? Um, driving on a suspended, but I didn't, I thought court was Friday, and I just got, the warrant had just been issued like that day, so, so I really had date. no idea, yeah, I yeah. had no idea. Sure, what's this, the state's position? Your Honor, this seems to be the third time that she's been in release of her uh, conditions, of her pre release conditions, and the state would ask that she be revoked. Okay, defense? Your Honor, I'm going to request for you not to revoke her today. She has informed us she's taken the offer. There's, if we revoke her today, that's just going to result in her being in custody for two weeks. She's not going to be able to get her proof of insurance. It's going to foil everything. She's going to end up having to pay the $600. So I'm going to what ask is the her. offer? The offer is plead guilty to count one, 30 days Washoe County Jail, or 60 days house arrest, $500 fine, which she's prepared to accept. Count two, provide proof for dismissal or plead guilty for a $50 fine. She's going to pay the $50 fine. Then count three was just to show the proof of insurance on the vehicle. All right, I'll give you another chance. October 2nd at 9 a.m. for entry, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. To random drug and alcohol testing. Um, we will set a 72 hour hearing. And Madam Clerk, when would that be? It will be June 28th at 9 30. Thank you. So I'm going to keep that on as for June 28th at 9 30 a.m. as I'm not. I don't have information that you would be transported before then. So just to make sure that it's clear as I will be granting an own recognizance release through the Department of, through direct transport by the Department of Alternative Sentencing or uh, the Inmate Assistance Program, IAP, to an inpatient treatment facility. Thank you. Thank you. Are you Miss uh, Kalor? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. We're here today for a first appearance. Bail hearing probable cause has been found, and the public defender's office has been appointed to represent you. I do note that you score on the Nevada pretrial risk assessment sheet as an 11, which is a high risk state. Are we able to proceed with the bail hearing today? Yes, Your Honor. Um, the state is going to be asking for $500 bondable given the um, charges in the case. And I am asking for some bail based on the high-end PRA. She does have a pending case, one point in the failure to appear category. I do show that 2022 failure to appear after bail. She has additional misdemeanor convictions for DUI, resisting, disturbing the peace, and then an additional DUI conviction in her history. But again, the state is concerned with the failures to appear. Thank you, defense. These look to be traffic violations. I don't know about the revoked driver's license, whether they're going to be able to establish that it was part of something related to uh, a DUI. It asks the court to consider an OR in this matter and set the matter for an appearance. Uh, is the state seeking jail in this or just fine? And I don't see that a complaint has been prepared yet, so I am unsure what the state will be seeking at this point. So I'm not even sure technically. Um, obviously, obviously, I guess the court appointed us. I think an OR is appropriate in this matter with a date to show up for uh, some sort of status hearing or arraignment for a 72 hour. I don't believe that we should be detaining her on these charges. Thank you.
defense, I did just need to turn to you as I am considering that as a least restrictive means of an owner cognizance release. However, I'm concerned with the facts and circumstances as outledged in the probable cause sheet that indicated that she's has citations, several citations for the same um, incident, which is why she has indicated that she's repeatedly driving without a valid driver's license, as well as being within the current revocation period. Um, and so do you have any conditions that you believe the court can fashion in order to ensure that she will not continue to drive? Um, not, not really, if, you know, if somebody wants to drive, they'll drive if they're out. So I guess your only restriction would be to lock her up pending this, but I don't believe again, that this is a necessarily a risk to the community. I mean, obviously if she were to get into an accident and didn't have insurance and that would be a risk, but it would be a financial, possible financial risk. Um, I don't know whether her driving is poor or not. I don't have her charged with reckless or anything of that nature. I uh, would suggest DAS and check-ins with DAS um, and uh, an order that she not drive. I don't know what else to say as far as that goes. Thank you. Ma'am, you heard I am concerned. Um, I, I disagree with your counsel that I do believe that you continuing to, if you continue to violate the law by driving without the, on your revoked driver's license without the required proof of insurance um, and operating an unregistered vehicle, that is a danger to this community. Um, so I am going to grant your own recognizance release However, I just want to make sure you hear very loudly that I am concerned. Um, and so I really hope that you do not come back um, on a violation. Um, and so I think that just make sure that it is noted that I'm very hesitant with granting you an owner cognizance release, but I do believe that um, I, I don't find that the state has met their burden in this case at this time. And so I am granting that owner cognizance release you will be required to be supervised by the Department of Alternative Sentencing. So you must check in within 24 hours of your release and you cannot drive without a valid driver's license, insurance and registration. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Thank you. So I will set your arraignment for July 5th at 9 a.m. So you're required to come to the Reno Justice Court at that time or else a bench warrant will be issued for your arrest. Okay. Thank you. Nathan McKinney. Kaza Kaler. Hello, you are Kaza Gail Kaylor? Kaza, yes. Kaza, sorry. Um, I have a citation you're charging you with operating a vehicle with expired registration, displaying bogus registration, and driving with a revoked, canceled, or suspended driver's license. Yes. Is that what you understand has brought you before this court? Yes, sir. All right, looks like uh, this one has also been handled by the prosecutor. They don't handle them all. But in this one, they have made an offer. If you plead to count one and count three, they will dismiss it and recommend basically the minimum fine. Is that your understanding? Yes, sir. You an opportunity to watch a video that explains your constitutional rights. Uh, that we call those trial rights. Do you have any questions regarding those trial rights? Mm -hmm. Do you understand that if I accept your plea to count one and or count three, that you'll be giving up those rights because we're not going to have a trial? Yes, sir. And do you understand that the maximum penalty for these offenses technically could be up to $1,000 plus assessments the court is free to impose a sentence up to include that maximum amount? Yes, sir. With all that in mind, what is your plea to count one operating a vehicle with expired registration? Guilty. And what is your plea to count two that's been amended to no valid driver's license. Guilty. Based on our conversation, your answers to my questions, I will accept that, those pleas as uh, of guilty as having been entered freely, voluntarily, and intelligently. That means as to count one, I will find you guilty of operating a vehicle with expired registration plates. plates. And as to count three, I will find you guilty of the amended charge of no valid driver's license. Pursuant to negotiations with the state, I will dismiss count two. That takes us to sentencing. The law affords you an opportunity to be heard prior to the imposition of sentencing. This is your opportunity if you wish. All right, so on count one, it will be a $5 uh, fine plus assessments for a total of $55. 
On the amended count three, it will also be a $5 fine, plus assessments for a total of $55. That is, by my math, $110. When can you pay that? Um, 30 days. We can give you a, a date 30 days out. Can we give her a due date 30 days out for the $110? So that'll be March 3rd? Okay. All right. All right. Get it done. Thank you.